as far as DTI is concerned, the monitoring of prices is a regular activity. And with the um, recent onslaught of Peng, it has been intensified. But for the areas which were heavily affected, of course, you may note that the, the people in DTI, they are also affected by, by the calamity. So what we usually do is to bring in um, personnel from other adjacent um, mm. provinces which were not so affected. Okay, so but should we be gearing up for possible price increases here? Once there is a, a declaration of a state of calamity, um, I, I listened to this segment earlier, mm. there is no declaration as of now of a national state of calamity, but there are localized declarations. Mm. So in those three areas right now, there is already a price freeze mm -hmm. of basic necessities, and that goes on for a period of 60 days until sooner lifted by the president himself. So for those areas um, where there is a state of calamity, basic necessities have already been frozen. Mm. So there should be no increases, and that is also the reason why when there is a calamity, calamity like this, we have to intensify our monitoring to ensure that there is there is no illegal price manipulation as well as no hoarding of these um, much-needed pr products. Okay, when you say basic necessities, uh, which goods are covered here? Under DTI's purview, because we have the Price Act, that's Republic Act 7581, it would be um, canned sardines, mm -hmm. canned fish, um, noodles, um, coffee, candles, um, bread, um, that is Pinoy Tasty and Pinay Pandesal, um, bottled water. Um, but th there are other um, agencies of government that are also that also have basic necessities like the Department of Agriculture, like for, for fresh meat, for eggs. Mm. Um, that's under the Department of Agriculture. For the Department of Health, it would be medicines and other medical supplies. Mm -hmm. Now, like what you uh, mentioned, for, go ahead, go ahead, ma'am, you were saying. Of energy, the LPG, yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry, for the for for the Department of Energy, they also look at the prices of, of gasoline uh, in affected areas when there is a, a state of calamity. Okay, like what you mentioned earlier, the declaration of a national state of calamity is still pending. But once given the go signal, again, that would put a price freeze on basic necessities. How exactly does that work even for those areas which are deemed somewhat not really that uh, heavily affected or impacted by the typhoon? For all areas that are under a state of calamity, all the prices of these um, basic necessities are frozen at their prevailing prices, which should be the su suggested retail price of mm. these um, goods or lower, because there are instances, but they are when they are lower, but never beyond or above SRP. So, if you recall, there was a national state mm. of emergency mm. due to COVID, which yes. was declared. Um, there was no disaster at the time, but we had a 60-day price free mm -hmm. for all these products. Okay, your audio is coming in, in and out uh, here. Uh, our line's getting a bit of a choppy, but we'll try to extend this interview since we still have more information we want to get from you here. Now, again, the latest report that we had, inflation is pegged at 7.2% in October. How much of an increase in prices did you see over the past month? And... Um, uh, which products as well had noticeable increases? What we do in DTI is we monitor prices that are goods. Of course, there are thousands stockkeeping units in the in groceries and supermarkets. Mm -hmm. We will look at there is only those products in our SRP bulletin. So in our SRP bulletin, even if with with increases in in logistics, in in prices of oil or um, even packaging, there are no increases in our groceries and supermarkets because the commitment there really, and this is something that is um, provided for under the Price Act, is that the products can be sold only at SRP 
mm-hmm. or lower than SRP. So when there are petitions for adjustment of those prices, those petitions are studied very carefully mm-hmm. by the DTI, but they do not become effective until such time that they are published in an SRP bulletin. And lastly, very quickly now, do you have any more pending application for price increases? Yes, we have pending applications for price increases, and our message has always been that we are in active coordination with the manufacturers of these products. Which goods, And we are ma'am? studying these petitions very carefully. Yes. Um, Which goods? So th- we have petitions for... For, for canned meat, for instance, for canned meat, um, note that that commodity. So in case of a price freeze, um, they are not included because they are not basic, but they are prime. Mm-hmm. But we have petitions for, for canned sardines, for instance, okay. for milk, uh, for coffee, and for, for bread, which is, of course, ba- part of our basic necessities. 